welcome to another episode on applied physics in this episode we are going to see how to write applied physics project work report for other subjects you can check with your concerned faculty so we will start for applied physics here is a basic format this is a title page we have to keep on the title page on the top corner we have to write project title of the project then your name hall ticket number and uh, section branch college name mentor and everything you have to keep that is a title page when you are writing a report the first thing you have to give is the introduction so introduction provides a brief overview of the project including what is the purpose and its background if any hypothesis we are assuming hypothesis means assumption this should be written in a clear and concise manner means in a simple language and clearly we have to mention with focus on the main point so whatever the main points we are trying to understand in this project Project or highlight that points we have to take care then methodology methodology stands for otherwise what we can say which methods we are following and techniques used to carry out the experiment other way what we can say is procedure whatever the apparatus we are using and stepwise what we are going to do and how we will get the results all those things come in methodology after the methodology we have a results and discussion so once following with the methodology if we do the experiment whatever the data we will collect from this project we have to present there includes tables graphs that help illustrate your findings so whatever we find based on the project those information we will give in the results be sure to clearly label all the tables and graphs provide a brief explanation of what this show for the simplicity in our present scenario we are not going to present any tables or graphs in the reports only just we will mention the results then discussion so whatever the results we will get that results we have to analyze by comparing with our hypothesis so some cases we may have some pre assumptions those are nothing but the hypothesis we will assume that the value of so and so will come in this range that's maybe assumption based on our observation so if any deviation or unexpected results come into picture then we have to provide uh, the reason for it means whenever we got the result different from the actual one say for example we are calculating acceleration due to gravity we already know it's a 9.8 meter per second square but whenever we did experimentally this value got 9.0 meter per second square there is a deviation from standard value then we have to provide the explanation for the deviation in the standard value why the value is not exactly the same value as a standard one whether it is due to apparatus or due to local conditions and due to some approximations we did in our calculations or measurements those informations we have to discuss in the discussion then conclusion conclusion stands for summarizing the key findings of the project so whatever we find clearly we have to summarize that one provide a clear statement about impact of the results discuss any limitations of the study and suggest areas for further research and if we think that further study is required to understand the concept clearly we can suggest areas for further research and finally we have to provide the references list of any sources used in the report such as scientific papers textbooks following a standard citation format so whenever we write this report generally we will consult a number of publications as well as textbooks so from wherever we are uh, taking the content and rewriting it all those information we have to mention clearly so without citation reporting someone else result is not a ethics in the research so always better keep the reference list at the end this is a general idea depending on the complexity of your project whether you are doing chemistry project physics or uh, mathematics or maybe pps means computer related so based on that adjustments we have to do based on the type of the project we are dealing with and but our aim is to keep the overall report concise and to the point and make your report in two three pages for this time submit on time and additionally make sure to proofread your reports for spelling and grammar errors now we will see some 
model uh, reports. So on the title page, we have to keep first BTEC applied physics project report. Then you have to provide a student name, hall ticket number, branch, section, semester, academic year, then faculty in charge, a college name and uh, location. The title of the project, determination of radius of curvature of plano convex lens using Newton ring experiment. This is the project title. We are going we have to calculate the radius of curvature of plano convex lens using Newton ring experiment. We have to write introduction. So what is introduction? Introduction will provide the purpose of the project. So in the place of the purpose we can use purpose we can write. The purpose of the project was to determine the radius of curvature of plano convex lens using Newton ring experiment. Then we will define what is plano convex lens. A plano convex lens is a lens with one flat surface and one curved surface and its radius of curvature is an important parameter that affects its optical properties. So this will tell about this plano convex lens. Newton's ring experiment used the interference of the light to determine the radius of curvature of a lens and is widely used method in optical physics. Then methodology. Methodology means how we will do from the experiment. So Newton ring experiment was performed by placing a plano convex lens on the top of a glass plate and illuminating the system with monochromatic light and the interference pattern formed by the light passing through the lens and glass plate was absorbed and the radius of curvature of the lens was determined from the curvature of interference fringes. We already know this experiment. So the total procedure is summarized in three and four points. Three and four lines we can summarize this one. Results discussion. So results means whenever we do the experiment determined approximately 60 centimeters with a relative error of less than 5%. So error calculation is also important for the project works. And these results were good agreement with the expected values based on the lens specification discussion. So these results of the experiment demonstrate the basic principle of light interference. The ability of a Newton ring experiment to accurately determine the radius of curvature of a lens. This information is important for understanding the optical properties of the lens and can be used to optimize the lens design and performance. And when come to the conclusion, this project successfully determined the radius of curvature of plano convex lens using Newton ring experiment. These results are demonstrate the effectiveness of this method for determining the curvature of the lens and provide a valuable reference for further studies in this field. This project also highlights the importance of understanding the optical properties of the lens in engineering and physics applications. And then we have to give the conclusion what we supposed to say if someone want to work on our project again what the information we have to pass on and what the idea we will give them that thing we have to highlight. Next one is references. References means whatever the information we provided previously that all information we can rewritten by taking the content or reading or referencing referring these engineering books. So whenever we are writing references the standard procedures we have to follow. First if it is a text we have to follow first author textbook name then publisher which edition whether it's a second edition third edition then finally place also sometimes based on the publisher from where he it is published that place also we can keep if it is a journal whenever we are referring a journal paper first we have to take others name then title of the paper citation citation means journal name page numbers volume standard information will be there that thing we have to keep in the reference. So that is the idea about a Newton ring experiment if we do as a project work. These are just for references little modifications may be possible. Then we go for another one we will consider now in a semiconducting device that's a laser diode. So if we treat as this one as a project IV characteristics of a laser diode then the same thing we have to write a student name, hall ticket number, branch, section, semester, academic year and faculty in charge as the same. Then when come to this uh, characteristics of the laser diode, so we have to define the, what is a laser diode first and what is its purpose. Then what is the significance of the our project we have to write. Then what is the objective, what we are going to do. Then experimental setup, how we will set, set up this experiment. Then what is the procedure. After the procedure, we have to write results and discussion. As I told it, from project to project, we can tune the terms results
results and discussions we can write separately or maybe combinedly we can write and this is the results and discussion so we can see some points and based on that results here it comes a discussion discussion means how the results will get affected by other conditions like temperature current voltage what are the affecting parameters and all those things we have to discuss then finally we have to give the conclusion and summarizing the results and what the valuable information we will get it and what is its use basically this information will be used for design and optimization of laser diode based system so like that we have to conclude whenever you are writing the report make sure you keep one title page to a4 sheets to A4 sheets only one side you will write and try to complete within that stipulated space and I hope with this information you can complete your project work especially for physics as well as chemistry and computer science if you have any further doubts you can keep in comments or if you have subject wise doubts you can uh, speak with your concerned faculty to clarify that's all for today and viewers Dr. Shivanagiridi Jai Hind